idiot. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to my podcast. Uh, today's Tuesday, 28th of November. Um, it's only been a couple of days since the uh, last one, but um, I I don't know how often I'll do these. I thought I didn't uh, do another one because um, I just I checked the uh, the amount of people that that downloaded the last one and 40,000 people downloaded my podcast, which I think is particularly great considering that um, that's not at all uh, true. Uh, it was actually 336. But how great is that, that 40,000 people downloaded my podcast, even though it didn't happen? It was only 336. I still think it's... I'm still kind of floored by that fact that 40,000 people and it's only been up for really a day. That's so many people, even though that's not actually how many people at all um, downloaded. It doesn't, it does, that doesn't stop me from celebrating that. Um, I think too, I, you know, that's the way you got to look at life. You, you, this is my advice to everybody out there. If you, um, you should take pride in things that happen in your life, even though they're just things that you made up. Even though, you, even though you haven't accomplished something, shouldn't stop you from celebrating that accomplishment. Like, let's say you've always wanted to say, I, you know, let's say you've never eaten out a dead guy's asshole. You've never done it. You could still say, how cool is that, that I ate out a dead guy's um asshole and some of you might be saying how is that an, an accomplishment go do it go do that let's see ya okay then go judging that as something that's uh that's not impressive um i uh had a few emails from people um with questions regarding the podcast or to for me to address in the podcast let's see this first one is uh, from a guy named Andy and he says uh, I know you probably don't do this kind of thing as you are more of a stand-up comic than a drive time radio station but can I make a request my friend Mike and I are massive fans and we also love the aristocrats joke on your next podcast could you do uh, an interpretation of the joke and dedicated to Mike for his 30th birthday. Um, no, uh, I won't do that. Instead, I would suggest that you uh, g go shit on a hamster. And happy birthday. Uh, faggot. Throw that in. Um, okay, here's one from somebody named CJ. Uh, my name is CJ. I'm 19. Uh, I do not have an Emmy. I try to be a comedian. Oh, why am I even reading this one? You know, not at all interesting, this guy. What does he say? Okay. Early in your career, did you ever feel like you were never going to be able to accumulate over 15 minutes of solid material that you could tell without wanting to kill yourself after each show because they were such dumb jokes, even if people were laughing at them? Okay, I'll give this guy a, an answer. You know, it was very hard to start doing stand-up. That was very hard because I was, you know, bombed. Both the first two times I did it, I bombed miserably. And uh, yeah, I had wretched jokes. I mean, ugh, they make me cringe. But the only route to success in stand-up is surviving failure. You have to bomb many times uh, in order to become good at it. So that's my advice to you, uh, you little 19-year-old pain in my ass. Um, and then a fella named uh, Joshua Mabe wrote me. And uh, he wrote me kind of a long email that I didn't r read all of, but he asked me about Pootie Tang and about the visual elements of the movie, and, and uh, he, he seemed to think that I approached it as a filmmaker, which I did. And uh, he, remember, he noticed that I, I hired Willie Courant as the director of photography for Pootie Tang, and Willie Courant was an eminent uh, kind of new wave French, very old... Uh, director of photography who um, made films with Serge Gansborg and uh, he made a film with uh, Godard um, 
masculine feminine and uh worked with a lot of other great filmmakers and uh he was an amazing guy to work with um and yeah no i took puri tang very seriously as a film i wanted to be a film director and direct a real movie about a guy who talks in a undiscernible language um what was that um that was an awkward edit is what that was um i'm cutting in here to what i recorded before because um as i was looking at some uh some footage uh later after i recorded this podcast that you're watching now this is confusing but the me right before that jump cut you just saw recorded the whole podcast and then i looked at some shit on videotape and i found something that i wanted to drop into this part <laughs> of the podcast what this is is the a trailer for pootie tang that i cut with Doug Abel, the original editor of the film. Doug and I were both removed from the film before it was finished. and uh, But this trailer, which we cut that no one ever saw, it's a very long, it's a very long trailer. Um, but it was, it's a good indication of what I wanted the film to be like. I wanted the film to be sincere and to seem like the subject was being treated seriously. Uh even though it was, you know, crazy. So this is a trailer just cut on an Avid by me and Doug Abel, the editor of Puri Tang, um, which we circulated to the studio before we were done cutting. And it'll give you an indication of the tone of the film that I wanted, which is definitely different than what came out. Um, and also for those of you that love Puri Tang, you'll just enjoy this. Um, and it's got a few little pieces of footage that never made it into any cut of the film. So that's there too. Um, anyway, so enjoy this for a minute. Um, what else? I was I went yesterday to uh, Rite Aid. You know the pharmacy? It's like, like Walgreens. Like an all-night big mega pharmacy. I went in there and um, they were selling sweatpants. And then big plastic gallon jugs of vodka, just no name vodka, just right next to each other. And you look at that and you just go, it's over, man. It's over. I mean, you could just pick up those two things and the rest of your life is pretty much set. You know, just a little kit. I could just buy the sweatpants. And the vodka and go out in the parking lot of the price uh what i say where did i say i was oh, shit well anyway i apologize to everybody who's receiving this i'm sorry for the uh unthought out shoddy uh which is kind of like shitty but with an o quality of this um uh Please continue to uh, subscribe to my podcast. Uh, I now that I'm I'm starting to make them, maybe I'll start making some funny. Probably not. Okay. Uh, so remember, in January, I got the special coming out in the DVD, and uh, other than that, there's nothing, nothing to look forward to from me. I have no nothing. I don't have. I'm not coming to your area. I'm not coming out with a new thing. Uh, I'm just completely useless. I'm raising my two children, which isn't actually a thing that you do. Raising your kids just means not killing them. That's all. That's how you raise your kids. Um, I have uh, a dog. You know what? Uh, how about this? Uh, maybe I'll end this with a little footage of me giving my dog a bath um, from about two years ago. Okay? So enjoy that. Um, I'll probably follow that up with uh, some uh, footage of me teasing my dog in the backyard. I, I think I have some more dog stuff. Um, oh, also, I'd like to say that if you want to um, contact me, please email me at lewisck at lewisck.com. If you email me questions or requests or something that you want me to do on this podcast, 
I will read them and uh, not at all reply or do anything that you ask me to do. But, you know, it's an interesting exercise in uh, futility. Write me an email. But, no, do uh, make a request and I'll see. Maybe, uh, maybe it'll... Because, obviously, I have no ideas. Obviously, I have no ability to do this or to... Uh, um, to bring anything that the the internet is a huge cornucopia of uh, great little ideas and funny things and college students youtubing all sorts of uh, just hilarious stuff and and I'm an actual professional comedian uh, I've won an Emmy I have a pretty decent income that comes from uh, funniness and creativity and yet uh, can't do it Okay, that's about it. That's about all the time I'm viewers I'm willing to waste. Um, this is probably the uh, uh, the worst day of my entire life right now because of this, what I just did. That just brought down this day to... Uh, oh, yeah, because my mom died. That's kind of a drag. All right. Uh, goodbye. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in.